headers and footers are the most important parts of a web page headers can define multiple details about the business like the business logo business name uh, it can have the navigation bar that is the links to uh, different pages of the uh, you know business owners then there can be a search bar and um, contact details similarly the footer can have the copyright information contact details links to different social media pages okay and both header and footer uh, define the uh, theme of the web page okay so it is important that uh, headers while being uh, useful must also look uh, beautiful okay and uh, both headers and footers are a way for the user to communicate with the business owners and thus it must also be very convenient to use okay hello learners welcome to constant learners and um, in this video we are discussing how to design a basic header and a footer with a business logo business name and some random informations okay so let's head to the uh, text editor and here in the HTML I'm starting with the header tag okay now rest of the details we will add later on now let's head to the style.css here I've already set the margin padding for the complete document to be zero okay whenever we use the asterisk can set anything inside this then that means we're setting it for the complete document okay now let's start with the header in the header now I want the header to stretch through the complete width of the web page okay so I'm going to set the width to be 100 viewport width and height I'm going to set it to 15 viewport height background color I want it to be black okay let's save this and see if we get the output or not okay so we have our header here okay now we are going to set the position um, for this header we're going to set the top to be zero and position absolute okay now our basic header is ready okay now I'm going to add the uh, logo here for that I'm using the image tag and uh, in this I have a folder named images wherein I've saved my logo so I'm gonna use that and uh, I will also set the class to be logo okay let's save this and uh, see right now this logo is covering the complete page okay the it's taking up the complete width and height of the web page so let's go ahead and uh, define its dimensions so image tag dot class that is logo and in this I'm going to set the width to be 70 pixels let's save this okay so now uh, the logo is proper size but I want this logo to have a border okay and I also want it to be circular in shape all right so to make it circular in shape we are going to use the border radius property if you uh, wish to learn about the border the border radius property and all then you can um, uh, check out the video that I have linked above so I'm going to set it to be 50% okay and what will happen with this the image will take the shape of a circle okay so square image has turned to circle and I'll add the border also All solid two pixels and sign okay much better now see uh, we have to vertically align this that we're going to do later on first let's uh, move this logo a little away from the 
left margin okay right now it is sticking a lot to the left margin I want to move it away so I'll add the uh, margin left property and that also I'm going to set to 70 pixels save this okay now it will it's looking much better okay I also want to add uh, the business name here on the right hand side so let's add an h2 tag inside the header okay inside the header only we are adding this h2 and uh, add the name of my website that is constant learners save this and uh, okay here we cannot see it because right now the font color is black okay so we're gonna get to header h2 and uh, inside this we're going to set the font color to be white smoke okay so we have this here we don't want it to be here okay we want it to be on the right hand side so i'm going to add the float property right okay so now we have both our uh, logo and our business name this also i'm going to move this a little away from the right margin and i'm also going to change the font size okay so to move it away from the right margin we're going to add the margin right property and that also i'm going to be saving to 70 pixels and uh, font size I'll increase it to 200%. Okay. Okay. Now we want to vertically bring it to the center. So there are multiple ways of, uh, uh, you know, vertically aligning the elements to the center. Uh, one of that is padding. We can use the padding property and uh, uh, bring it to the center. Like, uh, for example, here I can add the padding of uh, say 15 pixels and 0 okay so it's not exactly in the center but we can change the values and uh, work that out but we don't want to do it like this we're going to use the flex property for that okay so we are going to use the flex property okay the flex box property to align the items to the center for that inside the header we are going to add the display flex property okay and with this will come the justify content space between okay because we want uh, these two to be away from each other okay so justify content space between and align items center let's save this and now see our both the uh, both the items are now aligned in the center okay so this justify content what does it do it adds the proper space in between these two okay and uh, align item center will align it to the center vertically okay now if I reduce the width of this web page okay see even now our uh, logo and the business name are adjusting themselves properly okay this is because of the flex property that we have used it helps to make our website responsive okay so that was all about the header let's go ahead and uh, design the foot up so for that uh, below header I'm going to add the footer tag and inside this we will add the p tag wherein i'll add the copyright information now inside the style.css again we'll start with the footer i want the footer to be stretched through the width of the web page so we're going to add the width of 100 viewport width if you wish to understand the viewport width and viewport height 
or uh, using the pixels or percentage for the dimensions then you can view the video that I have linked above okay uh, with that you will understand where uh, what dimensions you should use to uh, make your design responsive okay and height I'll be adding 15 viewport height okay background color I want it to be black now we're going to set the bottom to be zero okay because we want it to be at the bottom see if I don't set the bottom or the position property let's see if we can view the uh, footer or not see the footer is not coming here okay because we haven't set the position yet so we want the bottom to be zero and uh, position we're going to set it to fixed okay let's save this and now okay we have the footer here copyright information also uh, we have the p tag here but uh, we haven't changed the font color yet so it's not uh, visible okay so let's do that also let's select the p inside the footer and uh, color we're going to set to white smoke save this and uh, okay we have this we are going to increase the font size to 150 percent and uh, align the text to the center okay let's save this okay so we have this here okay we can add some padding say 15 pixels and 0 okay all right so now we can play with this the way we want we can um, underline this text if you want I've already uh, shown all of these properties in the previous videos if you wish to watch that you can uh, uh, view that video I'll be linking it above there are um, number of concepts that I have explained in that video and uh, you should visit that I am sure you will love it and another thing that I wanted to show was that here in the footer we have saved the position to be fixed okay now with this fixed position what will happen that even if we scroll down uh, the web page like the content this footer will stay fixed here okay like uh, let me show you so I have a heading and a paragraph here. I'm going to copy this and uh, I'm going to start with the main tag. It is important that you use the uh, main tag. They uh, make the document really organized. Okay, I've posted a video for that as well. If you wish to view it, you can uh, uh, view it through the link above. I've linked it above. Okay so okay we have this uh, text here let's sorry okay so right now if you see our text is hiding behind the header and the footer but uh, see the footer stays fixed okay footer is not going anywhere it's not going down or anything uh, just to bring the text outside we're going to add the margin of 10 percent and that's it this video is not about de uh, decorating the text here i the video that i have linked you watch that video it will help you to understand how uh, we can uh, style the text on the web page uh, it's really helpful there are a lot of minute concepts that are very useful while uh, uh, designing the web page okay so this is all about the header and the footer i hope that this basic uh, concept about the header and the footer was clear to you if you like this video please give it a like share it with as many people as you can and uh, subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching